Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. We are a bit behind. For those of you guys that are trying to get private consultations, now is the time to reach out as we are quickly booking. We are now booking for June and July. Just putting it out there. For those of you guys that have reached out through emails or social medias, please be patient, you guys. We are a bit behind. Um, it's been just crazy. Everyone's trying to uh, get spell work or get consultations and readings and uh, with everything that's going on I hope everyone and each and every one of you guys are actually staying safe you and your families so let's get on with it this is going to be for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising and Venus for the remaining of the month of May going into June 2020 all right Scorpio your first card is inner peace second card is love and enlightenment partner or person of your interest is focus wisdom and patience wow okay scorpio uh some of you guys may be dealing with a leo um we did get some cards uh some similar cards that came out in the leo reading uh, so if you are currently dealing with a Leo or something like that, definitely check that video out. Um, as I do see a few cards here that resonate with the Leo reading. Okay, so let's get on with it. <clears throat> so in regards to your love, Scorpio, you have inner peace. Um, I feel that this is coming up in the reverse position. So for some of you guys, you may be on your journey towards finding uh, inner peace. For some of you guys, it could have been the release or walking out of a relationship that was no longer healthy. Uh, for others of you, this could symbolize that you're still going through um, through the journey and trying to figure out each other and trying to figure out what's the best for both of you. Inner peace is something that will be attainable as you do have the love card next to inner peace. I think that there is definitely genuine love here or genuine connection, but I think that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a person that may be of lower vibration, meaning that they're not as connected to spirituality as you are or vice versa. This could be uh, them being a little bit more enlightened than you and perhaps they are looking for a much more mature type of energy. It is a general reading, so it could be vice versa, you guys. Um, but nonetheless, I do see that there is potential here to actually find commonality or to find common ground and to be able to uh, get the, the relationship basically on healthy terms. Now, the cards of your partner is focus. I see them uh, going on a journey or trying to find uh, inner peace with themselves. It could be because they've learned if there was some type of breakup or separation. I do see that wisdom is something that they're seeking, meaning they're trying to understand why it didn't work out or perhaps what they could have done better uh, to make the relationship work. It, it's almost the feeling as if there is some type of regret here. Um, patience does speak about them highly working on themselves. It could be that, for, as an example, if there was some type of separation, all of a sudden you don't hear from them at all. Um, it's not really because they're dealing or, you know, keeping their op options open. It's speaking more about going within. Uh, I see them like trying to analyze perhaps a bit of anxiety because at this point in their life, perhaps they had some type of idea of what their life should be uh, and they find themselves being alone. Uh, so there could be some type of sadness and regret connected to this. But if you guys are dealing with a separation or some type of uh, distancing of a relationship and you're expecting or hearing from them, uh, I do see communication coming through for you guys as I do have the patience card. And what Spirit is saying is that at this present time, you have to learn to be patient, Scorpio. Uh, this person is seeking or trying to understand um their nature or their behavior it could be that they are like i said having regrets about losing you uh, i do see communication happening but it's going to take a little bit there is patience that needs to be connected um, in regards to how you perceive or how you view the situation perhaps you don't see things in the background meaning what's really going on in their lives it could be that they are very unstable it could be that their finances are not very well 
or it could be that they are actually going to be dealing with some type of stress or depression even so again it's about having patience i do see the love and the enlightenment card though standing out very strongly so for those of you guys that like i said are waiting to hear from someone uh, or wanting to know uh, if they will be coming back into your life. I do see communication happening. But like I said, you need to be patient, Scorpio. Um, now, for those of you guys that are in a long-term committed relationship, what Spirit is saying is that uh, I see you very content. I see you really finding or maybe even understanding your partner's like nature, uh, why they are the way they are. And I see you very like... Uh, accepting or even embracing Scorpio. Um, I see your partner being extremely focused. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be that uh, some of your partners are returning back to work. Uh, if there was because of the social distancing, they were laid off or they've been, you know, having a little bit of financial difficulties. I see things going a little bit more into normality. Um, and I see them focused and determined wanting to uh, prove or wanting to show um their potential when it comes to the work environment i do see them um you know extremely focused so i think that for the remaining of the month going into the beginning of june i see communication um flowing very organically with you guys and i think both of you guys could be or maybe uh heading towards the same direction meaning having the same goals and aspirations so that's definitely going to bring the relationship a bit closer all right I hope you guys enjoyed my lovelies and we'll see each other soon. Bye.